American F-35 and French Rafale are two of the best fighter jets in the world. Both jets need to fulfill multiple roles in multiple services. This includes air superiority, ground attack and reconnaissance. These fighter jets have land-based and carrier-based versions as well. Despite their similar goals these aircraft are extremely different, not only in design but their construction and the very philosophy behind them. Today we will compare these two phenomenal fighter jets in this hypothetical matchup, and determine which fighter jet is better in a real battlefield. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can watch more military videos. Number 1. Both aircraft have various variants for Air Force and Navy but we will compare F-35A with Rafale C so let's have a look at some specifications first. F-35 was first introduced in 2015. 280 jets of all variants have been built so far with per unit cost of $85 million for F-35A. Operated by crew of one. The aircraft's empty weight is 29,000 pounds with maximum takeoff weight at 70,000 pounds. The jet is powered by a single jet engine producing 43,000 pounds of thrust. The aircraft's top speed is 1,200 miles per hour with maximum range of 1,380 miles. The combat radius of the fighter jet is around 874 miles. The aircraft comes with six external hardpoints and two internal bays. The jet is armed with a 25mm rotary cannon with 180 rounds. On the other hand, Rafale was first rolled out in 2001. Around 164 jets have been built so far. The unit cost of the aircraft is around $70 million. Operated by a crew of one. The aircraft comes in at weight of 21,720 pounds with maximum takeoff weight around 54,000 pounds. The aircraft is powered by two turbofan engines generating 33,720 pounds of thrust combined. The jet can reach a top speed of 1,188 miles per hour with maximum range of 2,299 miles. The combat radius of the aircraft is 1,151 miles. The fighter jet is equipped with 14 hardpoints in addition to a 30mm auto cannon with 125 rounds. Number 2. F-35 is powered by a single turbofan engine, which produces 43,000 pounds of thrust with full afterburner. The aircraft can fly at top speed of Mach 1.6. The jet has combat radius of 770 miles. The aircraft's service ceiling is more than 50,000 feet. However, the rate of climb of the jet is classified. On the other hand, Rafale is powered by two turbofan engines generating 33,720 pounds of thrust combined. With the help of these engines, the jet can gain top speed of Mach 1.8. The aircraft has combat radius of 1,151 miles. The jet has the service ceiling of 50,000 feet with rate of climb around 1,000 feet per second. Number 3. With smaller wings and inferior thrust to weight ratio the early F-35 pilots found it nearly impossible to engage with F-16. Since then Lockheed Martin worked with pilot straining and changed configuration of the jet. This resulted in increased turn rate, tighter turning radius and improved nose pointing ability at low speed. F-35 has the ability to slow down during a turn and his excellent post-stall recovery. On the other hand, Rafale has lead in this category. The aircraft has 9 G's maneuverability with a high angle of attack. Canard wings are used to improve maneuverability. The aircraft is also aerodynamically clean with two wingtip missiles. Close coupled Delta Canard wings offer significantly higher maximum lift. The fighter jet has good post stall maneuverability as well. Number 4. The F-35 has been designed to have a low radar cross-section with the help of aircraft shape and the use of stealthy radar absorbent materials. Stealth gives F-35 the ability to elude or greatly complicate an enemy's ability to find and destroy an aircraft using a combination of design, tactics and technology. 
the stealth capabilities in the F-35 are unprecedented in military aviation. For perspective, F-35's radar cross-section is 0.005 to 0.3 square meters, which is about the size of a golf ball. On the other hand, Rafale is not a full-aspect stealth aircraft. However, the jet was designed for a reduced radar cross-section and infrared signature. The fighter jet has RCS of 0.5 to 2 square meters. The aircraft has reduced RCS due to its smaller tail fin, compact fuselage, engineer inlets and extensive use of composite materials. 70% of the jet's surface area is made with composite materials. However, many of the features designed to reduce the visibility to threats remain classified. Number 5. F-35 has the most advanced radar and communications suite built to date. It will also be the first fighter to possess a satellite-linked communications capability. F-35's advanced sensor fusion enables pilots to draw on information from all of their onboard sensors to create a single integrated picture of the battlefield. All of the information gathered is then automatically shared with other pilots on the base. F-35 is equipped with most advanced radar used in any American aircraft to date. The radar is designed to enable F-35 pilot to track at distance over 143 miles with locking distance of 93 miles. The aircraft is equipped with distributed aperture and electro-optical targeting system. The F-35's helmet-mounted display system provides pilot with unprecedented situational awareness. The information is projected on helmet's visor which includes airspeed, heading, altitude, targeting information and warnings. On the other hand, Rafale is equipped with passive electronically scanned multi-mode radar, which is capable to achieve increased level of situational awareness through the earlier target detection. The radar projects real-time 3D maps for terrain following and high-resolution ground maps for navigation and targeting. The radar can detect at range of 124 miles. To enable the jet to perform in the air supremacy role, it includes several passive sensor systems. The front sector electro-optical system is completely integrated within the aircraft and can operate both in visible and infrared wavelengths. This sensor enables the deployment of infrared missiles at beyond visual range distances. It can also be used for detecting and identifying airborne, ground and sea targets. Number 6. Both fighter jets are equally equipped with beyond and within visual range weapons. F-35 is armed with an internally mounted 25mm equalizer gun with 182 rounds in addition to an external pod with 220 rounds. The aircraft has two internal weapon bays and six external hardpoints with weapon payload of 9 tons. The two outer hardpoints can carry sidewinder and short-range air-to-air missiles. The other pylons can carry AIM-120 missile, joint air-to-surface standoff missile and guided bombs. The external pylons can carry missiles, bombs and external fuel tanks. There are total four weapons stations between the two internal bays. Two of these can carry air-to-surface missiles or bombs. The other two stations are for smaller weapons. The jet will be armed with solid-state lasers, which can burn enemy missiles and other aircraft out of the sky. The aircraft will also carry hypersonic missile in future. On the other hand, Rafael can carry payloads of more than 9 tons on its 14 hard points. The range of weapons includes air-to-air, air-to-ground, air-to-sea, guided and unguided bombs. For a strategic mission the jet can deliver standoff nuclear missile. The aircraft can also carry beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. The jet can fire precision guided bomb, which has both GPS and inertial guidance. The aircraft has a twin gun pod and 30mm cannon, which can fire 2500 rounds a minute. The jet is equipped with laser designation pods for laser guidance of air-to-ground missiles. Overall F-35 is a better aircraft but there are a lot of technical problems before it is fully operational. F-35 is stealth plane which is its main advantage. Both planes almost use the same range of weaponry. 
F-35 has slightly better radar but excellent sensors and avionics suite. But in most of the scenarios F-35 will detect traffic first due to its lower RCS, better radar and capable sensors. But in close one-on-one -on -one fight F-35 doesn't stand a chance against Rafeng due to its better maneuverability and better thrust-to-weight ratio. However with the advent of helmet-mounted display and high off-bore sight missiles, the maneuverability advantage has greatly diminished. So what do you think that which fighter jet is better? American F-35 or French Rafale? Let us know in the comments section. Also be sure to check out our other military videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.